Yeah, to keep Hooray! Hooray, hooray! <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> the salt water didn't kill the camera. So. There you go. Hooray! Hooray, hooray! There you go. Alright. Good job. One more. Okay. Hooray! It's not a keeper because. I see it on test TV. Okay. Well, I like checking these every 15 minutes. Look bigger from down there. Is that a female? Hey, folks. So we tested Tessa's new four-door crab trap and um, it worked out really well. We just went down for a couple of hours to Garibaldi to play with the crab trap and we caught three crab. Um, and, uh, but there's a lot of crab will go through these all four doors. It seems like it's easier for the crab to get into this trap. Um, another cool thing about this trap is that it's um, uh, lightweight. So, in, um, at Garibaldi, the uh, probably not a problem with the tides, but if you're going to put this out in the bay or the ocean, you're going to want to put some weight on the bottom. And you can buy weights or you can fill up a mesh sack full of stones or, or whatever, but um, you definitely want to use a, um, some weight because this is pretty light. But it sure works well. Four, four doors is definitely best for pots. Um, we still do really well with the crab rings. Uh, these are the rings right here and um, we haven't had a problem with this yet and we mounted the GoPro inside the uh, crab pot so hopefully we'll get some good footage for you so stay tuned for uh, a video of this uh, underwater experience with this pot Hey guys, we attach our GoPro to our crab pot and pretty amazing uh, footage guys. Uh, there's a lot of uh, fish and also crabs. Hope you enjoyed this video. So guys, if you want more video um, similar to this one, we mounted our GoPro to our crab pot and it's pretty, pretty amazing video guys if you want to follow that for my next video. So guys, this is the crabs uh, we cut for today. We got three, so I cook it with um, coconut and Sprite. It's very delicious.